Should American football be played outside of America? My answer, it might surprise you guys. G'day guys, welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. As you guys know, I've been here on YouTube for like almost three years. But if you are new to the channel, I'm my name's Mark. I'm from Steelers Nation Australia, an Australian fan watching football, living football since like 2002. So I'm an international fan. And I saw this today. There was some news today in the in the I guess the internet in the NFL international fan news. Uh, around the globe for the for the fans like me that says here NFL to play a game in Brazil in 2024. The NFL awarded a, a 2024 regular season game to Brazil on Wednesday. And there's there's two parts of this. So they've got the game in Brazil and they also voted to expand the slate of international games from four to eight beginning in 2025. So I want to tackle two things. I want to tackle two things in this episode. Because the, the question I want to try and ask, and you guys can answer you want to. I, I know my answer. My answer is real quick and easy, but I'm going to go into a bit, a bit more detail. Should American football, NFL, be played outside of America? We'll tackle that first. My quick answer is no. All right, guys, you can turn off the video. You can do whatever you want to. It's up to you. My quick answer is no. I'm a huge fan from Australia. Been watching since 2002. Chose the Steelers based off, basically, the colors alone. Now, what, 22, 3, 24 years later, whatever it may be, I have a YouTube channel. I've done numerous podcasts. I've been on the, the CBS News. I've had an uh, interview with Merrill Hodge. And there's still more things to go that I want to try and accomplish in my time being a fan, also being on YouTube as well. I want to be the best that I can be. And when I see stuff like the international game getting bigger, I think overall there are some positives. It's good to expand the game. It's good to get other fans, uh, you know, interacting with the game, all those kind of things too. But I think there are also a lot of negative as well. And also to some some kind of positives, for me being in Australia, any Australian fans out there or any, or any international fans, I tell you from my first hand experience, it's more fun. Well, I can't compare it to a game being over here, but I tell you what, it's a lot of fun going to your city, your town, your Pittsburgh, your team uh, for the very first time. I've been to Pittsburgh now, I think three times. Once was in 2015, once was with my my dad my dad in 2019. And I also saw the Steelers game, uh, Steelers versus Ravens on Christmas Day in 2016, right? That was the first game I went to was Steelers versus Ravens, Christmas Day, Antonio Brown, hand over the line, see you later, good night. We win the division, we win the game. There's something about to me, actually, when you support American football, like I do, like many other guys around the world, international fans, it's actually going to the game in America. It's American culture. It's a bit different, right? So when I say, should American football and if it'll be played outside of America, I say no, but I understand there's a bit more gray area than just saying no. Because if you say yes, you expand the game, if they go into Brazil, They've been to Mexico, they've been to Germany, they've been to London countless times. You might as well just count that the, the Jacksonville Jaguars live in London because in London, they they play, they play what, they're twice a year now? So I understand the global aspect and everyone watching the game, it has their own you know fandom or there's reasons why they choose to be fans of certain teams. But I think as a, look, to me, if you want to get the best out of American football, you have to go to America. That's where it's at. So when I see stuff like this, I see some positives where they're expanding the game, going to Brazil. But then I also see a lot of negatives, right? Because this, this is the second part I want to get into. It says here that they want to expand the international games from four to eight in the beginning of 2025. I guarantee you right now, they're going to try and go to Ireland as well. Steelers, Steelers have a, a huge connection with the Roonies to Ireland. So I reckon in 2025, they're going to try and go there. But he, here's the negative, though. One of the negatives I have found with this. So you're expanding four games to eight games in the beginning of 2025. That is eight games that season ticket holders in America will miss out because you're sending the game away. You're pushing the American product away from American fans. And at, at the end of the day, what is American football? It's American. I understand the global aspect of it, trying to get as many fans into it, but you're pushing the game away. 
that's the one thing I don't like about this stuff where you send it to Germany, you send it to England or you send it to Mexico or wherever you may be, Argentina now or now Brazil, right? You're sending the game away from America. And what makes this game special is the fact that it's American football and that I can go to a stadium, I can get a burger, I can get a beer, I can interact with Americans all day and have the best time. And they can be, oh my goodness, oh my God, you're from Australia? Like that. That kind of stuff is fun to me. Now, if you were to ask me like, and say, okay, Mark, do you want a game in Australia? Like I said, no. But in, in some in, now, now that I have the channel, I've got to revise my answer. I still don't think that, that, that NFL should send a game to Australia, but they will. In time, they will send the game here to Australia. They already have the Rams, uh, who's like their chosen team. They have the Eagles, who's their chosen team, who they set up watch parties. I'm trying to put uh, the Steelers Nation Australia on the map, right? So I have my an- my broad answer is no, but there's it, it, it filters in some kind of yeses. Because if they did send a game here to Australia that was like Eagles versus Chiefs or whatever it may be, I'd go to it because for purely for the for the uh, the chance to make content, for the chance to meet other Steeler fans, I'd wear all my Steeler jersey. I'd try and set up a little watch party. I'd try and do something around the stadium. I'd try and get interviews with NFL you know, Australian fans to give you guys back what we think about the sport. That's what I do. But overall, sending two teams to Australia, first of all, when you go from, say you go from Monday, Monday, you fly over, you miss Tuesday because you go back in time, you you fly 15 hours, you miss Tuesday, goodbye Tuesday, gone. You land Wednesday, you're jet lagged. I guess then that the first day you're not going to practice, you're moving all the stuff off to the hotel you get to the hotel in the morning, you might do some sightseeing. By Thursday, I guess you have a practice. Friday, you might have a, maybe a day off or a run through. Then Saturday, you might have a practice here and there. And then the next day is game day. And by that time, you're here for in Australia for three or four days. And the following day after the game, you've got to fly all the way back home. To me, it's too inconsistent in the amount of travel to get here. Um, like in, in terms of you know time, energy, putting everything together. And the players, uh, you're sending players away. If the, if you if you're from Buffalo, if you're from Buffalo, you got to go from Buffalo to New York to, to to New York to LA, LA to Sydney, Sydney to Melbourne. That's like 30 hours of flights. So it's too far. That's why I'm a, I'm a no when you ask me should American football be played outside of America or should football be played in Australia. I'm a no. But if it does happen, yes, I will try and go for content purposes. And try and get get like interviews with you know uh, fans and stuff like that, right? But that's the news today that I saw was there's going to be an NFL game played in Brazil, and now it's going to be from games from four to eight. So they're really trying to go after the international market. But I tell you what, and I'll leave you the, I'll leave you this with my last point: if there's any international fans out there, or if there's any fans of you know in America who likes other codes or have a reason to go to Australia for some for something. The reason why I pretty much went to America five to six times um, in my early years when I was in 20, when I was 25, 26, right? When I was living in Canada too, was because basically because of football. Football got me around. My, my love for the Steelers got me to the States. It got me to the first time seeing Pittsburgh in 2015 when it was Super Bowl 49, right? And I was around there. I was hoping that the, that the Steelers would be in the Super Bowl so I could be in the city and I think that was the year that Denver kicked us out. And that was when I think it was Seattle versus Pats and they should have thrown the ball. So they should have ran the ball. That was the first time I saw Pittsburgh. And the first time I saw Heinz Field after 17 years of being a fan, it was like a monumental moment. It was like, oh my goodness, I'm here. I can see Heinz Field for a guy that, that that's followed the team since 2002. So that's why it's special. And if you go into setting these games overseas or to australia yes it might be cheaper yes you might introduce a new audience but there's no better feeling than saving up all your money getting a ticket getting a hotel going to pittsburgh for your first game or being amongst the american culture that's what we're there for we're there to chill out have drinks eat pizza and have a good time and meet americans i don't want to go to the football game for my first time to see steelers versus say Ravens, in Sydney, two hours away, surrounded by Australian people who don't understand the game. 
The reason why I created the Facebook page and the reason why I created this channel was because I was talking to a lot of Australians who thought they knew the NFL. I actually knew a guy that I was on a tour with in America. Won't name any names, but he was asked the question, how many points for a touchdown? And he said five. That hurt me. That hurt my heart. I was like, man, you can't be serious. It's not five, it's six. I've had countless uh, conversations with so-called American football fans in Australia who are Australians and don't even know who the players are. They don't even know who the coaches are. I see Raiders fans wear all the black and silver and they couldn't tell you who John Madden was or who Al Davis was, Davis was anybody like that. They simply have no clue who their, one of their worst quarterback was in Jamarcus Russell being a bust. They have no clue. That is why I created this channel, Steelers Nation Australia, to give myself a representation to talk to American fans too. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I did this stuff. So if you see me at the game and I'm surrounded by 65,000 Australian fans watching American football and I hear someone say, what's a fourth down? Why is he punting it? Why is the clock stopped? Wait, he punted the ball, then the same team picked it up. Shouldn't it be their possession? If I hear any of those things, I will lose my absolute mind. That's why I think you have to go to America. You need to go to your team. If it's the Chiefs, go to Arrowhead. If it's Green Bay, go to Lambeau. If it's the Lions, go to Detroit, right? Anything like that. I'm very lucky that I chose Pittsburgh by the, the colors alone. I can go to Pittsburgh. But all this stuff, man, if I do see a game in Australia, that's what I'm going to be surrounded by, is fans who have a lack of knowledge of the game. And you know what? It's not even their fault. Some of the fans there or some of the, the, the people who might, might go to Australia to, to the NFL game if, if it comes down here, they might simply be gone because there's an event on. But I guarantee you, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll see if you do go, if you came from America and you're, in, you're on a trip, you know, you know what? I'm going to go from America. I'm going to watch Australia, American football in Australia. You would be surrounded by guys wearing, you know, Chiefs hats, Charger shirts, uh, Jet shorts, Miami Dolphin shirts. I've seen it. I've seen people cheer for both the Chiefs and Chargers in the same division. I've seen people wear a New York Giants hat and then they have like a Raiders jersey on. They just don't know. So that kind of thing would, would really annoy me. And that's why my answer is no, because it would just grind my gears like 1000%. What's a thirst? What's, what's, what's third, third and nine? What's that? Why, why are they doing this? You know, just all those kind of things. When, when do we get the ball? It would frustrate me to the living end. All right, guys, that's it. That's my bit of a, my, my bit of a round on that. So in summary, guys, should American football be played outside America? No. Can we stop it? No. So it's going to keep growing. So Brazil has one game coming up. We have the, in, in 2025, four to eight games. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest, in 2025 if Australia gets a game or if, 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 uh, if um, sorry, if Ireland gets a game too. All right, guys, that's it. I'll see you later.